What is up guys, this is Kito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm going to be showing you the latest Evolution X ROM. The version is 4.0, the security patch is latest of January 1st 2020 and here we have the stock kernel as like latest immensity kernel and on top of course in the about section we have the Evolution X logo up top and the build date is again 7th January 2020. Let me go back from here and the Android version is 10 of course I have been using the dark theme over here and now let me just disable the dark theme because it looks better in like normal white kind of look now if you talk about the best features of this rom and what are the new things if you ask me the first thing that i'll tell you is if you go to lock screen and go into this fod icon picker you will get a bunch of things as you can see there are plenty of options for this fingerprint scanner and here you will get this stock miui kind of look then we have some different kind of look and there are like it's just totally goes on and on as you can see we have this one and the oneplus kind of icon i don't know if it's a iphone kind of icon i am not sure and we have some galaxy kind of icons then we have this iron man kind of icon then captain america and again one more captain america in white and we have another one which is like kind of a dragon one and we have a blue lightning kind of look and some triangular shapes we have then uh, like two circular shapes and another triangle shape and there is a like paint kind of look over here and colorful fingerprint kind of option is there and uh, icon of something over here i'm not sure if you guys know what is this let me know in the comments down below and this one looks really interesting like kind of a event horizon of a black hole and this is like sun rising and there is also a notification on the bottom of these all icons that in order to add your own customized icon i guess select the top left icon and use the oneplus 60 fingerprint customizer app to select the icon you want so that is gonna be really great i would say if you are gonna be able to change your icons of the fingerprint scanner itself that's gonna be really good so again we have this really beautiful feature which i like which is the always unlock with the fingerprint scanner and for like because of this i don't have to enter my pin every time i reboot the device i can directly unlock it with my fingerprint scanner the vaulty and stuff should be working fine even though i don't have a sim card in it and here the wallpapers are present i think the live wallpapers yep as you can see all of them are present so you don't need to worry about those live wallpapers if you are a lover of those pixel 4 live wallpapers looks pretty cool you can choose any of them let me show you by choosing this captain america and this is how it looks like right in the lock screen well sometimes i have seen the fingerprint scanner dies right now i haven't rebooted after flashing though and everything else still remains from the previous builds and here we also have the clock font size of the lock screen and stuff you can increase the size if you want to then we have the clock font style as you can see there are plenty of fonts here like it doesn't simply end and here we even have the date font style as you can see there are a lot of fonts too for the dates and we also have the owner info font style so the customizations doesn't simply end anywhere even you can increase the font size of the dates and stuff and also we have the lock screen charging info here and the 18 watt fast charging works fine here too i don't have a sim in it yet because like i just clean flashed the latest build over here and we have the usb configuration as file transfer and stuff all those good things and here you also get the miui camera over here so that is great the 960 fps was having some problems in some devices but right now i think the 960 fps has been fixed and the slow motion 960 fps will be working fine and for the videos of course you will get all kind of options like 1080p 60fps 4k 30fps 4k 60fps etc so that's not a problem here like switch to all the lenses here no issues with that you can switch to 2x and 1x and like the 0.6x which is the wide angle one and this should work fine even 48 megapixel mode pictures and stuff will be working fine too but if you want google camera 7 just click on the card right here you can like install that google camera Otherwise, I think the ROM is pretty fast and smooth, but I haven't used this ROM for quite a long because this is just an overview of the latest build, which is 7th January 2020 build and the version 4.0 of Evolution X. Of course, we still have these kind of features like this advanced reboot and stuff. And then we have the status bar brightness control works flawlessly, no issues. And again, talking about the figment scanner speed, here is the figment scanner speed for you guys. Unlocks like almost every time. Let me show you from the left finger. Let's do it with the right thumb again. 
all right so it did not unlock for twice now let's try did not unlock now it did so the accuracy i would say is not that great but sometimes it just unlocks with like one single try as you can see it didn't unlock now whenever i say one single try it doesn't unlock all right again now it did let's try it again didn't unlock so yeah it for me right now it is still taking two tries so that's kind of weird but yeah the female scanner at least works and we have a lot of customizations with that and in the display settings we have the night light and stuff you can turn it on just like this and it makes the display yellowish of course and in the styles and wallpapers there are a lot of customizations as you can see and you can choose the accent colors of your whole ui like from here looks kind of fine the xiaomi one looks orange and then there is the evolution x yellow and blue etc options so they look kind of good too as you can see now let me scroll down we have the body fonts like previously we have oneplus fonts and stuff lg fonts etc if you need those anti flicker mode is there you can enable it if you want to dark theme is there of course the dark theme works flawlessly no issues with that let me go back from here in the sound settings we still have the mi audio dirac as you can see it should be working fine with the youth edition like settings and i use this youth edition because i have a like me basic headphone it works great and bluetooth audio and stuff should be working fine too over here and you can enable or disable bunch of sounds and touch vibrations and you can enable this ring notification alarm and voice etc volume so that it appears over here you don't have to toggle it like this the vibrate for calls of course is there and the stock launcher is the pixel launcher still i think yep as you can see the stock launcher is pixel launcher so it doesn't have a much of customizations but everything should be working fine like scrolling down on the home screen gets you to the notification panel scrolling up gets you to the app drawer and stuff to the left we have the google now cards now talking about flashing this wrong well the new orange box recovery is out you can use that or else you can use the older like stable orange box recovery that should work you just need to be on the latest miui 11.0.3 or 11.0.1 android q firmware so that you can flash that rom otherwise this rom may give you some problems or it may not be flashed at all if you are not using or you are not on the latest firmware so i'll definitely suggest you using the latest firmware the miui 11 android q 11.0.3 firmware and just flash the rom file with the fcrypt disabler it should work if you are decrypted and you don't need any gapps and stuff on this rom to like make it work because the gapps comes with the rom file itself so you don't need to flash it separately so yeah that was just a quick overview of this evolution x rom the version 4.0 of evolution x rom on the redmi k20 pro let me know in the comments what do you guys think about this overview and stay tuned for more videos like this in future this is tiro from kd and x signing off for today and hit the thumbs up and subscribe button if you haven't yet and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye bye now I don't want